Thank you. Demonstrating how potentially vulnerable the public is, in a matter of seconds, all my financial information is in the hands of a hacker. Yeah, so that's yours? Yeah. All your transactions? <laughs> TechWiz 25-year-old Jamie Woodruff held my bank card to the back of his phone, and in a flash, my PIN number and account details were private no more. That's great. I mean, you just put it next to your phone and that's it? Pretty that's much. All it yep. Luckily for me, Woodruff is dubbed Europe's number one ethical hacker. He's infiltrated Facebook and Twitter. He's not looking to steal information. He's hired by companies to test their cybersecurity systems. In 2017, more than half of the UAE's residents were victims of cyber crimes, totaling $1.1 billion, according to the Norton Cybersecurity Insights Report by Symantec. Woodruff says that hackers' skills are essential to protecting people's personal data and providing corporate online safety. You need ethical hackers. You need police. If you didn't have police, what would happen? You know, cities would fall. If you didn't have ethical hackers finding these bug bounties, finding these vulnerabilities, organizations would, you know, essentially fall. Woodruff says the biggest threat to corporate cybersecurity is human error. Employee mistakes account for almost 70% of sensitive information being accessed by hackers, according to an encryption trend study by Encypher. And as just over 80% of organizations in the Middle East are already using cloud services, this increases their exposure to online threats. Less than 40% of firms in the study have encryption strategies to protect their cloud data. A cyber attack disabled tens of thousands of computers at energy company Saudi Aramco in 2012. And some experts say that encoding sensitive data early on before uploading it online greatly reduces risks. It means taking, taking the data that's readable, um, applying an encryption algorithm to it, and making sure it's jumbled up so that only those who have the actual uh, encryption key can read the data. Anyone who doesn't have the encryption key, it just looks like random uh, uh, information to them. In the Middle East, the use of encryption strategies is reaching new levels according to Encypher, growing at a rate faster than any other region globally.